Cooper Heights police are looking for a man they said stole a truck from an auto shop while an employee was in the bed of the truck. We first worked this as breaking news at noon. Officers say this happened late this morning at the Tire Choice Auto Service Center near Old Troy Pike and I-70. Someone else then followed the pickup as it sped off. As News Center 7's Candace Price reports, this led to a chase with police that ended up going into a cornfield. Law enforcement tells me that at some point the suspect disappeared into this wooded area behind me and abandoned the stolen vehicle. Police described that vehicle as a white Ford Ranger. The suspect is described as a white male wearing a mask and bright colored safety vest. Uh, we had crews go out with uh, ATVs into the field where we last saw the suspect vehicle. It was located under a lot of thick brush. It was there in that area that crews also saw their suspect. Yeah, they did see the suspect running southbound in the field and he was able to cross several streets and through some houses. That led them to their search of this neighborhood near Arlington and Sand Hill. No neighbors came out and identified him. Nobody said they knew where he uh, was last seen running. So due to the lack of fresh intelligence, we decided to terminate the uh, pursuit and search. When asked if the third party who followed behind the stolen vehicle did the right thing, Sergeant Carr said no. You, you should not take matters in your own hands like that. Just call 911 to let us do our investigation. Sergeant Carr said the suspect could face several charges, including failure to comply with law enforcement, kidnapping, and grand theft auto. Now, law enforcement continued to pursue the suspect and then had to call off their search around 2 p.m. today. Their detectives will continue to investigate this case. For now in Fairborn, Candace Price, News Center 7.